This is Ross Castanado interviewing William Winkler at the May 2017 Robo Toy Fest convention. So now, what, did you have any favorite cartoons before you started voice acting? I grew up watching the original English dubbed uh, anime shows of Speed Racer and Gigantor and the Japanese dubs of Godzilla movies and I watched the original Ultraman show when I was a little boy. I'd come home from school, elementary school, I was like eight years old or something, and I would come home, do my homework, have milk and cookies, and then I'd be able to watch Speed Racer followed by Ultraman Monday through Friday. It was the English dubbed, Tetra dubbed Ultraman show, and then many years later, I, I'm writing, producing, and directing the American English versions of the new Ultraman movies. It's very funny how life works. Very nice. Okay, so please respond to this question in your character voice. Did you ever get a chance to work with the DeLuise family or meet them at all? No, I did not. I did not. I came to Earth when I was chasing a very diabolical uh, villain from space. And I came to Earth around 2015. <laughs> oh, okay, but you must work with a lot of other people, though. Could you please name some of the people you worked with as well as some of the people your dad worked with? Well, uh, this week we're doing more Ultraman movies, and I have voice actors I've worked with in the past, like Robert Axelrod, who was the voice in the Power Rangers. He played uh, uh, Finster and Lord Zed, and... Uh, I, I was, I worked, I, I knew, I was very good friends with Jonathan Harris, who uh, was Dr. Smith in Lost in Space. Oh, cool. And he and I always had lunch together, and he'd call me and he'd say, uh, he'd call me up and say, Willie Winky, shall we have lunch tomorrow at the Hamburger Hamlet? <laughs> very I'd nice. say, yes, I will. Yes we, yes, we will, Jonathan. He said, okay, I'll see you there tomorrow at 12 o'clock sharp. That's what, that was Jonathan Harris. He, what you saw in Lost in Space, that's how he's, he's talked in real life. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> and my father, people he worked with, oh, God, he worked with all the stars of the Golden Age of Hollywood. And he did a ton of westerns, and he played W.C. Field's son as a boy, and he played Don Amici as a boy, and he worked with Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and Wild Bill Elliott and Bob Steele and Johnny Mac Brown, Tim McCoy, George Houston, George Montgomery, uh... God, I could go on and on and on and on and on. Just name a star of that era, and Dad worked with Bob Hope, Jack Benny, you know. Uh, Dad, Dad was in the classic age of Hollywood. Cool. cool. What was, did he ever tell you what it was like to work with Bob Hope and Jack Benny? He loved Bob Hope, and he loved Jack Benny, and when he would rehearse the Jack Benny show, Jack Benny's wife, her name was Mary Livingston, right. they, she would serve milk and cookies to my dad, and I, they would rehearse in Jack Benny's home his residence and then they would do the shows and there was a show on the east coast and show on the west coast and such one time when my dad was going to play pat o'brien as a boy in the iron major he was doing the edward g robinson radio show at the same time and edward g robinson uh during the lunch break there would be a break between the east coast and the west coast and dad went to dinner with edward g robinson and his father and uh, Edward G. Robinson said, Bobby, what are you working on? He says, oh, I'm going to audition to play Pat O'Brien as, as a boy in the Iron Major tomorrow. He says, oh, well, let me see your script. I'll tell you how to audition for it. Let me show you how you do it, see? And, he, and Edward G. Robinson started going into it. And so my father imitated what Edward G. Robinson did, followed Edward G. Robinson's advice perfectly, and then he landed the job of playing Pat O'Brien as a boy in the Iron Major. So when you watch that movie, my dad is playing Pat O'Brien as a boy, but what he's really doing is he's doing Edward G. Robinson doing Pat O'Brien as a boy. Oh, cool. How's that for a story? Totally. Very nice. And, and uh, you know, again, he worked with almost everybody in the 1930s and 40s. And Leonard Maltin described him as one of the most working journeyman child actors of the 30s and 40s you know so yeah very nice and here's the last question what was the first voice that you did the first voice that I did uh, well when I was a little baby it would have been <laughs> no, my the first real professional voice that I did was the animation work would have been Tech Man the Space Knight Tech Man, the Space Knight, animated by Tatsunoko Production Company, the company that did Speed Racer and Battle of the Planets, oh, cool. and Robotech. 
and that was syndicated in 1980, and it was syndicated all over the country, and uh, did very well, you know, and was sold on videotape, and at the time it was VHS, there were no DVDs then, so. But the audience for Tech Man in the 80s was like around 12 million kids, and tonight, as of this date, 2017, if you turn on ABC or NBC, they're lucky if they get maybe two million audience. So, prime time. So it just goes to show you how the television market changed. Very nice. And could you please do a voice for us before we go from that show? Do uh, 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 From Tech Man? Yes, please. Well, I was kind of a young guy in that one. I can't remember exactly what I did, but it was sort of a, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was that type of a younger voice. Yeah. I'm a little bit old. I'm 30-something years older now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm better doing the Ultraman X voice, you see. It was very much, it was a little like Les Tremaine. I don't know if you remember. I do late, remember. I do remember him. Do you remember the late Les Tremaine? Yes, I do. Yes, that's sort of the way Ultraman X was. But a little less dramatic. <laughs> uh, see, very nice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. You're welcome. Have a good day today at the show. Thanks. You too. Well, there you have it. That was Ross Castanato interviewing William Winkler at the May 2017 Robo Toy Fest convention.